This is another of my favorite warm-ups. Um, I call it the four chord warm-up because we're playing three note chords. Each phrase is a chord. It uses three pitches, and it's a great way to warm up not just your fingers, but also your ear if you're going to be modulating, if you're going to be changing chords. Now, I'm mostly using the uh, primary scale. Uh, there's one alternate note that we move into what's called mode four. There's an entire flute cast out there on mode four. Um, but uh, this warm-up is particularly good if I'm going to play with a guitar or a piano because they're often going to modulate from one chord to another. And I found that just doing this exercise really helps with, uh, with that. And so I'm going to do it very slowly. And of course, all these exercises, um, a couple of things you're going to start very slowly. Um, are they experienced exercises? No, because a novice can learn these. It might take a little bit longer than an experienced person, but learn these and uh, really learn them deeply and play them beautifully as slowly as you want. So I'm going to go through it very, very slowly at first. And of course, um, both of the exercises we did last month, we did the skipping down the scales exercise. And uh, this month is the four chord exercise. Both of these are up on uh, the link that we're going to put up on Flutopedia, and you can download the finger diagrams to show you how to do it, but we're going to do it here very slowly. That was one chord. Then I'm going to come back down the scale. And as we did uh, with the skipping down the scales exercise, improvise at the end. Make it up and do something interesting, and that way it doesn't get to be the drudgery exercise, like, uh, like uh, the music school kind of exercise. We put in a little improvisation at the end. So, a little bit faster. And notice, I can do it any way I want. I could do it. Or I can do it like this. And you could, I'm using connected notes, mostly legato connected notes. You could involve articulation in there. You could use staccato notes. Double tugging. Hope these exercises help you. Uh, if you find them, if you find them to be drudgery, if you find them to be uh, too much reminiscent of music school, bye-bye.
Don't worry about them. Just go back to playing your flute. But if you do them just a little bit before you play, for me, it makes a world of difference. My fingers aren't so fumbly. Fat finger fumbly syndrome before I play. So enjoy them. Bye now.